Hello everyone and welcome back to another train simulator video. Afternoon driver, pick up here and then depart when clear to Guildford. You are to stop at every station on route. Good luck. Yeah, hope everyone's all well. See, so yeah, in the Steam cell, I did pick up the Class 455. This is the older one by Thompson Interactive. Um, so this is the one without the ace, the air conditioning at the front. So it's it's the older sort of unrefurbished one. Um, and also because one, if you own this, you can then get the AP pack. So I thought I thought I'd pick it up. It would it makes sense to pick it up. But let's get it set up. So this is quite an old DLC in the game. It's come way before the Dovetail Games one. Uh, but let's get it set up. Yeah, you can, this one's by Thompson Interactive, this one. And it is in BR Blue as well. That's forward. AWS. Brakes off. Whitley next. Let's go. So yeah, quite an old DLC. But we're on it, and we're giving it a go. I also picked up the 423 as well. Let's try and get like a good amount of points on here. Well, no, this is a standard scenario, so no, there's no points on this. I need, no, no passenger view. <laughs> That's how old it is. Four coaches. So I think the dovetail one actually does have the same sounds, uh, but I'm guessing that's like just an, a refurbished, updated one. Well, it's the Dash 8, I think. Yeah, this is the old 455 DLC, which gives you a way more livery. So I think the newer one in the game, that's just for Southern, so I think it's for the South London network. We've got Whitley, Milford, Godalming, Farncombe, and then Guildford, which is 12 miles away. Lovely on this uh, winter's evening. I don't know, I, I tried to avoid doing sort of snow on CS, as you can see, it doesn't look great, the snow. Um, but we'll do it. I mean, nice little scenario up to Guildford. Why not? Yeah, four coaches long. Racing our way along. Very steep. I mean, look at the gradient going down here. Really steep. And our first stop is Whitley, which is in about three miles. So they're all relatively close to each other. Oh. Still going down and down. I suppose we sort of go from the bottom of the valley all the way up to well, over the top really steep very steep but yeah this is on the old Portsmouth direct line um, so you've got the new one now which goes all the way up to Waterloo this is the one that only went as far as Woking so a very old train on a very old route in the game <laughs> but I thought we'd give it a spin but well, I mostly just got this DLC Send the AP pack runs as it should. And not too far to Whitley. Very quiet the horn as well. Yeah, this one's by Thompson Interactive. Um, who's done quite a few DLC for Train Sim over the years. West Coast Mainline, Trent Valley, I think Glasgow, Airport, Rail Link, um, and most recently actually the Glasgow Subway, which was very enjoyable. So yeah, this DLC would have been good for when it came out, <laughs> but obviously now it's you know, if you compare it to one of the newer, or the newer 455, it's not great. Although quite a lot of um, scenarios um, will require this DLC for, like a you know South London one, or just sort of South East, the South East in general. 
a lot of scenarios you find will require the old one because it has the southwest trains livery um the network southeast br blue it's got more liveries to it Well, in fact, no, the, the new 455 comes with the new Portsmouth Direct Line. No, yeah, I think I've mentioned, um, yeah, the new Portsmouth Direct Line comes with the a 455 as well, uh, being the South West Trains one. I suppose, yeah, this one gives you BR Blue, Network South East, and uh, I think that's it, yeah, Network South East and BR Blue. Here we are, this is Whitley. Here we are. Any stop markers? I don't think there's any stop markers, is there? So it's such an old route in the game, the Portsmouth Direct Line. And I think this one came out in 2012. Um, so yeah, one of the really early on TSDLCs. But popular though, hence the reason why they they redid it because it is a popular route, taking you from the capital all the way down to Portsmouth. But yeah, if you go and watch, um, if you're looking down in the players, you'll notice the difference with this one to the southern one. So yeah, they haven't got the air conditioning. So you could still walk through the units, I think. Milford next. Let's go full whack. Can this thing even can this thing even get wheel slip? Would it be programmed to get wheel slip? I don't know. Well, off we go. Milford is in two miles and it is now only eight miles to Guildford. And look, another very steep. I mean, look at that. You can really spot that gradient going down there. Really steep. Down we go. Trying to get a nice screenshot again. I don't think that's going to work going through the cutting though, is it? <laughs> Let's get that. There we go. There's another one there. But yeah, as I've said uh, already, see, I'm recording this fairly late, so if I'm saying the same things twice, I'm saying the same things twice. Um, yeah, the sort of reason why I got this DLC is one, because scenarios, a lot of. Um, you know, player created scenarios require this DLC if you're doing a scenario in the southeast, um, and also because I can then fully utilise the AP pack. As that requires the new 455 DLC and this one. As otherwise you'll get weird things happening, which we don't want. And let's put that down. Brakes seem alright. Uh, the brakes aren't bad. I was there on a fly into the station at 50 miles an hour. Don't think I trust it that much. Here we are. Cool. This is Milford. When I say that, I want to say Milford Haven, but no, that's that's in Wells, I think, Milford Haven. Is it Milford Haven? I think it is. Ooh, that sounds good. Here we are. That does sound quite nice. 
I uh, shot Marcus here either. Surprise, surprise, no. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we see this route in um, Train Sim World one day. Because, yeah, it's a very popular one in um, Train Sim. Hence the reason why I got redone. Really here we are. This is Milford. And next station after this is Godalming. And then Farncombe. And then Guildford in just under six miles. Said about 20 minutes this scenario. It's been about 10 minutes. So we got, well, we got about nine minutes to Guildford. And we wait. So I'm guessing before the line was the 450, because nowadays it's the 450 and the triple four. Oh, I did it, but there we go. I'm guessing it was the 455 and the 42. The 423 operating this line? No, the 421. Yeah, it would have been the 421 and the 455 running down this way. Cool. Yeah, Gordoming next, which is, uh, yeah. Not too far along. Not far at all. Oh, almost missed the AWS there. <coughs> and off we go. Cool. Can we get the window open on this one? Oh, you can't get the window open. Oh, even even has a nice sound effect to it. <laughs> CSR, no, CSR doesn't work. Sun visor, that works. We got another four five five coming along. Hello, fellow four five five. Oh, we go. Got sixty. And then we come into Godalming. And Falcon, as you can see, is like right after that. Very close to one another as we approach Guildford. I actually don't know. Have we done a video on this line before? Probably have. Probably at the other end of it. So towards London. Because I know we've streamed this a couple of times, but I don't think we have... Um a video, um, yeah, sort of below Woking. Cool. And here we are, coming up to Godalming. Coming a little bit quick. No stop markers probably, so just stop where we want. Stop and drop and go. That does sound good though. Here we are. Welcome to Goodall Men. Yeah, it's a separate town, I think. I don't think it's a suburb of Guildford. I think this is, yeah, I think this is a town on its own. There's still a little bit of a way to Guildford. It's still um, about four miles. Yeah, it's a little town. Cool. I think the Portsmouth Direct line is actually one of those lines I've actually never been on. In uh, I've been quite a lot of the lines in the South East. But yeah, the PDL, I think, is one I actually haven't. <laughs> haven't been on. I must change that at some point. So maybe there's not really any need to go down the PDL because I just go down the. Uh, if I ever need to go to Portsmouth, it's down sort of the BML, Aaron Valley, and then West Coastway. 
or the other way is uh, North Downs line and then South West Main line down to say Southampton so the PDL for me is well I don't really need to use it as such well, I'll go on it at some point maybe if it ever comes to TSW I'll make that trip Farm come just round here. Cool. Put that on. And this is Farm come station. That's allowed level crossing. Makes you jump. And here we are. Farncombe. Let's get a nice, uh, yeah, you got to get that exterior shot coming in. Nice stop marker again. Awesome. Here we are. And after this it is Guildford, which is now only... I think it's like through there. Uh, yeah, three miles away. So I think that will be through because you go through Guildford Tunnel. So that'll probably be through the hill there and then uh, into Guildford. Oh, hello. What's this guy? We've got 47, I think. Yeah, 47 there. Oh, wow. Hello. Is that a mail train, I think? Cool. Evening mail. Is the guard there? Let's do that. Right, let's go. Guildford next. Should be fairly quick getting there. Guildford platform 8. And yeah, this little thing here, which you see running around here, this is a little sort of funny thing they added in. This is the Guildford milk float run. So there is, I don't actually, how you, I don't actually know how you get it, but you can run a milk float round Guildford. Just a little funny thing that I suppose they added in. Hello, why is it that you can go up here as well? Actually, would. Is that ox shot? You're quite far up there. Oh wow, there is a little network. I didn't think you could. Um... Hang on, there. There's Woke in there. So, can you actually drive off over this way? That's the North Downs, or I think, yeah, up this way. Wokingham. I wonder if you can actually drive along that bit. That goes down to Alton down there. Yeah, I wonder if you can drive that. Never seen that before. Yeah, there's a. Hang on. That's a, that's the North Downs line there. I don't see you can actually drive along the whole thing. Hang on. Probably going to get AWS going off. Yeah, this is the North Downs. Is it actually modelled? No, it just shows on the map, but then it's not actually there. Okay. I said that'd been quite cool. It was quite low quality as it's the old Portsmouth direct line, but quite cool anyway. Now to find the train. There's the train. Hello, train. And the sound of something moving over there. On we go. AWS. And you can see Guildford Tunnel coming up. Come back down. Cool. Yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed the video. Obviously feel free to like and do subscribe if you do want to see more. This is the North Downs line, so if you've ever wondered what, where the 166 wonder where the 166 goes past Rygate on Train Sim Mod, so it comes to here.
and then into the little short tunnel, and then into Guildford Tunnel. And we have got a 25 coming up as well, so we want to bring that down. There we go. That was quite a nice scenario, that was, up from uh, Hazelmere. Nice little run, 20 minutes. Not too bad. Although we do need to come down to 25, so let's whack that on. What's that, 455 coming along? Yeah, there's another 455. In Network South East Livery. And BR Blue, they've got a little bit of a mix there. Oh dear, there you go, we're all good, all good, don't worry, platform 8 we're coming into. <laughs> really old PDL. Haven't played this in absolutely ages. Just because it is the old PDL, so we've got the new one now. So yeah, uh, don't don't buy it. I mean, obviously, unless you want to get the old DLC for it, there's no point buying the old ports of direct line. Although it's much cheaper, although it doesn't go to Waterloo, it only goes to... Um, Woking, I think. Yeah, Woking to Portsmouth. You might as well get the new one, and then you've got Waterloo to Portsmouth Harbour. Much higher quality as well. No stop marker? Nope. I will stop here then. Well, there we go. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed that. Um, that was, yeah, up from Hazelmere in the, <laughs> in the old 455 on the old Portsmouth Direct Line. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in and hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye guys. <laughs>